Just to get out here yeah. and to be in this uniform, yes, playing sir. and throwing the ball around. Yes, How do you describe the spring game? Uh, it was everything. It's nothing. I, everything I could imagine. Uh, these fans, uh, the weather. Um, playing in the big house for the first time. You know, obviously been here a lot of times to recruit, um, but playing in this game and I'm with all these amazing players, my teammates, my coaches. Uh, it, it's a once in a lifetime experience, and I, you know, I'm a young guy, but I can't wait to keep doing this uh, year in and year out. So you came to be a part of this program, graduating early, and you got to go on one heck of a ride. Yes, sir. When you look back on everything that you got to watch yes, and, and be on the field for and get, right. what were those months like for that Rose Bowl, the yeah. college football playoff? Just um, unbelievable preparation. Um, as soon as I stepped in here, um, you treat, you prepare for practice like it's the national championship. So when the national championship comes, it's just another day. Obviously, um, you know, we had guys like Nine and, uh, and Blake Quorum, things like that. But everything from the poise, the maturity they showed, um, they pulled me along. Like Nine was preparing for the biggest games of his life. And every, t every chance he got to coach me, he made sure that I knew what I was doing, uh, made sure that I never got too high, never got too low, and just stayed even mellow. Um, some of his techniques I use in my game now, too. So um, it's just great to be in a room with a guy that learns like that, a guy that's going to be, I think, the number one pick in the draft. He should be. But uh, um, that's my guy. I'm so appreciative for Coach Harbaugh and all the guys on the team before us and Team 144, so Team 145 can do the same thing. I was about to ask you what you learned from J.J. McCarthy, but uh, you answered it everything, there. Everything, <laughs> literally everything, everything you could imagine, how to, to play the mental game before you get, even get on the physical physical uh, platform and then just all the little off-platform stuff he does, how smart he is. I don't think he gets enough credit for how cerebral of the past few years. All right, this is a question that I don't know can be answered in the spring, but as a competitor, I'm yes, sure sir. it's something you're gunning for. Can you win this job? Is this a job you can be the number one guy starting this fall? You know, I have full confidence in my capabilities, um, but, you know, I know that I'm in a room full of great quarterbacks as well. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm just going to put my head down and go to work. Um, I'm going to be the best teammate I can be for those guys. I think our, our quarterback competition has been so healthy. It's never a situation where we're hoping a guy fails. If a guy makes a throw, we're all cheering for him. If a guy misses a throw, we're coaching him up. So it's never a situation where, you know, I'm hoping – you know, a guy gets hurt or a guy doesn't make a play so I can get my opportunity. Um, you know, obviously as a competitor, you want the job. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, you know, I just want to come here, uh, earn the respect of my teammates, and ultimately, you know, win on Saturdays. You got the love from the fans. I'll let you go say hi. <laughs> yes, so, sir. Thanks so much, Yes, sir. Appreciate it.